I'm Claudia Bunce. I love Jade. <laughs> Tubes of Jade. Up here near the Yukon in Jade City, we've got the world's richest deposits of Neferite Jade, and the Chinese want it. <laughs> this is going to be the million dollar rock. Now, we just have to find it. Go! I will dig till my hands bleed. makes people do crazy things. Perfect mosquito weather. Everyone's back at Wolverine and ready to mine, but Wolverine's not ready for them. Uh, I sleep on the floor. Junior's on the floor. <laughs> Bam. Claudia Bunce's crew isn't happy. Way back at the trailhead, mine manager Robin Bunce is trying to change that. OK, we got to get this loaded up. Robin's got something the guys at Wolverine have been begging for, a bigger bunkhouse. Well, I think we should put that on that Delta. It's got way more power, eh? Well, oh, yeah, you don't want to get hit by one of these, you know? <laughs> we hired a company to haul our bunkhouse because we don't have the equipment to haul them in. Right to the edge. Pete Daniel will help Robin move the heavy trailer and fuel trucks over 120 kilometers of ruts and rocks up to Wolverine. Pete will drive one, and I will drive the Delta hauling the fuel. Perfect. Go big or go home. Gonna yeah, hook on with the winch. Yep. Good. We're good to go. The bunkhouse is raised on an embankment so it can be pulled directly onto the truck. Careful. Hold it. But it's not quite high enough. Nope, that'll never lift it. While you're winching it, I'll swing the back over. We'll get her on one way or the other. He wants to lift the bunkhouse just enough to clear the lip on the truck bed. To lift it, the jump. OK, yeah. Right there, perfect. I didn't know it was gonna work that good. <laughs> right there, that's good. Good. All good, except for one thing. The bunkhouse was about 10 to 20 feet too long. It's quite a bit overhead. I know. You know, we can try it if you want. Come game, I'll try it, I'll drive it, but I don't want to wreck your stuff. Up at Wolverine, Claudia is anxiously waiting for the bunkhouse. If we don't get Wolverine reasonably set up, we risk a mutiny. Wow, oh, it's worth it getting close. Dude. <laughs> yeah, right. Not pretty, but it'll taste good. It'll taste delicious. In my experience, there's three keys to a happy camp. There's food, <laughs> place to sleep, and a place to crap. Hey, shit face, you want to put this together now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god. You do know that that's the best view in the valley, right? Why do you think we put it right here like this? <laughs> there's got to be a doorknob somewhere. Leave it like that. Not bad. Why do we have a door? This is way too high class. Because the box closes. Yeah, yeah. Now you can't open it? Yeah. All you got to do is get that thing. <sighs> that. OK, guess it's passable. Who's going to be the first one to use it? I think it's going to be me. You have to close it? Tell me when you're done. I accidentally locked you in there. Tell me there. I'll be right over there just one second. Don't you keep me hanging in here. Oh, Josh. no, I'm not. Just hold on. I'm just grabbing something. Just wait. Somebody get me out of here. I don't like the look of that. Back at the trailhead, Robin and Gee have come up with a plan. With that overhang, you chain it down really well. Yeah, we'll cross chain this way. Wrap the little sh We'll duct tape the rest. <laughs> we got a shitty plan, which is better than no plan. As long as you get the job done in one piece, nobody gets hurt. Fair enough, right? Gee, on driver. 
I um, don't know how. I had a rollover last year. I don't want to do it again. The bunkhouse seems to be way too long for the Delta, but it's all based on weight. You don't really know how heavy they are until you move it. With all your rang, I'm glad I'm not going. This is pretty big and bulky, pretty steep hill, and I don't know how this is going to ride, right? I'm worried about the front end coming up off the ground. If the front wheels on Pete's Delta come off the ground, he cannot steer. And if he can't steer, you have absolutely no control. look back in the mirror and Pete is backing up and then he stops. You can't turn. Well, I can when I turn too sharp and I can't turn. Because it lifts up then. And I was on the flat. The bunkhouse was heavier than we anticipated. My guy is going out of the up. You know what happened to the top? Yep. On that no, we can't put somebody in danger. It's, it's just not worth it. The bunkhouse Robin needs to get up to his crew at Wolverine is 20 feet too long for the trailer, threatening to tip the whole truck. Too big. Like, I don't want to roll this thing over. Like, I can load this Delta up with something else, but. Well, we got another trailer, the holiday trailer. Have that off and ready to load your trailer by the time you get back. Yep, so I'll go get the other trailer. Yeah, enough. You always got to have a plan B, and if that don't work, you got to have a C. C don't work, go home. Well, I went to go get the other trailer. They unloaded the bunkhouse so that when I got back, they were ready. The other trailer was not ideal, but you go with what works. Be back around quick. What is going to give me we're good now. Good to go. And we're on the road. Finally. Here's hoping there's no more surprises on the road. It's just nice, easy going, nice scenery. Person can always dream. The lazy man's way to get a measurement. I'm going to throw this, and we're going to measure across the pit. Yeah. At the Dynasty claim, Claudia's business partner, Alan, and the company's geologist, Leslie, have just unearthed a promising lens of jade. We try to figure out how deep this jade going. It's a crucial find on what so far has been a disappointing site. Claudia's Chinese investors are getting anxious. My two other partners, they're, they're kind of a worry, because uh, we always throw the money inside every year, probably more than a million dollars to money every year. So we need to have something good and give them some kind of confidence. The only hope for me, so uh, I hope this one's uh, is getting bigger down there. The only way to know the size and quality of the lens is to drill into it. So they get Kevin to fill in the edge of the pit as a base for the drill shaft. Do you think you can get any closer to the rock face than that? I think I could try, yeah. He's a good guy, really good guy. Yeah, I like it. Right into the jade. Kevin's a driller, and he's just here on a contract. But we love Kevin like one of our own. Jade City is it's pretty neat little community. I mean, everyone's pretty cool to work with around here, so we get along well, we work well together. They're good people. All right, let's go. Find some jade. After moving the drill into position, Kevin sets his sights on the target and tries to keep his mind on the job. I'm going back to see my girlfriend. Celebrate her birthday this weekend, so she's pretty psyched. Life of a driller is a little bit different. You have to get used to being away from civilization for extended periods of time, but I like it. At Wolverine, Robin and the small travel trailer have arrived. 
but it's not the bunkhouse that Claudia expected. That $1,500 trailer just became a $10,000 trailer because that's what it cost for that Delta to bring it out here. I was a little disappointed to see the trailer because it was supposed to be a big trailer coming in and ended up being a little baby one. But I was happy to see my husband. I hate Robin being away from me. We've been together 32 years, hardly ever not together or not communicating. So for me, it's, it's utter hell not having my husband with me. But Robin's not sticking around. He wants to get in one more trip before dark. A lot more stuff had to go out there yet. That's just the start. We had to head straight back out. It's a plan he didn't clear with his wife. Yeah, your dad can stay here. Why does he have to go? He doesn't. Robin, what? these two boys can each drive one of the Deltas out, if there's two of them, and then you can stay here tonight. I said that I would be come in and take it right back to the landing. Oh, is that what you're going to do? When Robin gets dressed, he gets hyper-focused, and it's really hard to deal with. Right now, we got to get these off. And if these take three, four hours, then it's too late to head back. OK. Very much doubt that that's going to happen, and there's everybody working on it. So to spend five minutes trying to figure things out, Robin, is it going to hurt? Can we please just calmly try to figure things out for a minute? It's not a stressful thing. It's not going to help with you doing this. Again? OK. OK, I will walk away. You do what you need to do. I try to have these normal conversations with you. It doesn't work when you're doing this. We've taken a huge financial risk with the mining, and it's an astounding amount of hard work. I think the strain of everything is wearing on all of us. We could really use some good news. Hey, Dad! Drive safe. I love you. At Dynasty, Kevin's dug up some promising jade cores. See some really nice stuff. Claudia not gonna believe what we found. I want Claudia to come back as soon as possible to see this. Hello? Hello, Claudia. Hey, I have some news for you. We found some unbelievable things and P2. Really? I think you should come back to have a look. Okay, I'll see what I can arrange, Alan. Okay? Okay, bye. Yeah, see you then. Bye bye. She's going to be crazy. She's going to blow, uh, you know, her mind. This could be the news that we've been waiting for. The good news we all need. As Claudia heads home, Kevin drives the promising cores back to Jade City. It's the RCMP calling. Kevin, a driller at one of Claudia's claims, has been in a serious car crash, just as he was bringing back promising new core samples to Jade City. Oh, God. Okay, bye. That's bad. That's really bad. I'm going to try to track down some people. He and Robin just jumped in the truck and bolted. I mean, they just bolted. We got there just before the ambulance left. I don't know about Kevin because he was on oxygen, so he's he's not good. The ambulance attendant said that there's supposed to be a plane waiting for him in D's, taking him either to Terrace or Vancouver. Inside, I'm just freaked out. Hello? I stayed at home. Hello? Because I knew that I could be more helpful at home. Robin called with whatever details he had. OK. Holy 
Kevin's emergency contact is his boss, Dave Schusler. Hello? Claudia needs to reach Dave so he can contact Kevin's family, but Dave's out of satellite phone range. This is the worst part of living out in the middle of nowhere. The airbags went off. Lucky to be alive. At the crash scene, Robin puts together the pieces of Kevin's accident. It was pretty obvious what happened. Those marks are from the front and the mirror. Ripped the mirror off the passenger side. Kevin hit a 400 kilogram moose, an accident few walk away from. He hit him back there. Way back there is where the skid marks start. Went into a drift and then flipped. Once you flip a heavy truck like that, it will go quite a ways once they start rolling. Finding any more stuff back there? Bunch of fittings and stuff for the drilling. That's expensive. We started collecting Kevin's personal stuff and the tools. Stuff was spread all over the place and quite a ways from the truck. We had walked into the bush a fair bit. There was stuff everywhere. We tried to collect the core samples from Dynasty the best that we could. Yes. We ended up finding one of the guys out there that had a helicopter to go over to their camp and tell Dave there would have been a really serious accident. Tell them that they're they're flying them out. They're okay. Dave knows now. So what happened? Kevin is in the ambulance now, going to D's and then from D's being flown out. No way. What yeah. the Kevin is just so one of us. Did Rowan say how bad it was bad? Is he, does he think he's going to live? Did he say that? Yeah, we don't know. Oh, God, God, if we're through, man. There isn't a nicer guy. It's the worst thing that can happen to our community, to lose or have somebody get really hurt. It just shook everybody. Was it awful? Look at the f***ing truck. Uh, my kids do a night. When did the ambulance arrive? I don't know, they were there. The medics Some... had been there for a while. They had. Because Kevin was all wrapped up. Kevin was on oxygen. So we're not out of the woods yet. No. So the Chinese believe that jade can be cursed. Holy shit. Yeah. And um, the scary thing is, is that it's the best jade we've ever found or seen. It's absolutely grade A jewelry jade. But the cost is just too much. It's a few days after Driller Kevin's brutal truck accident and Jade City is still in shock. He was on his way back from work, and he just hit a moose and skidded into the ditch sideways and then hit the ditch and rolled a couple times. The most recent updates, he had like a broken hip, separated shoulder, like broken ribs. It's like he's really messed up, but it is what it is, and he's gonna be all right. It was a pretty severe accident, and it could've pretty easily been me in there. It's not hard at all to uh, come around the corner and there be a moose right in the middle of the road. Sometimes it happens just in like an instant. Actually, you know what? I should slow down. This is Dave Schuster's chopper. Dave is the owner of the building company. He's just going to uh, grab the get well cards for Kevin and and he's gonna take him to Vancouver for us. We're gonna do a little, there's a picture of Kevin washing down the, the pit, washing down the jade, and we're just signing on the inside, getting everybody to say, hey, we're thinking of you, man. Everybody has a part in a small community. He's one of my boys. I think that's what's missing in cities 
And that's something that we have, is we have real, sincere compassion for all of us. We're a family. So this is what we found, what was left after the wreck. It's quite nice. Yeah, that's what but, we're looking for. And the color so, is just perfect the with the light. Is lovely, yeah. And the translucency is it's there. Yeah, that'll make gorgeous jewelry. Absolutely. Did I tell you the story about what Alan told me? He said that they have a superstition in China. They say you won't find grade A jade until Holy blood is spilled. Shit. Alan was so shaken up and he said, blood's been spilled. They found the grade A. Yeah. I can only hope that spilling blood once is enough. This is about all I was capable of the last couple weeks. So it's getting better now. I'd love to go back up there again. It's just uh, got to do a little bit of healing first. One of the first things after your accident that they sent to you was, this jade is awesome. <laughs> and I hope Kevin's good, too. <laughs> well, they're pretty worried about you. Who are all these people? That's, that's like the whole population of Jade City. <laughs> got a few of these as well. Everyone's got a sense of humor. Day in the life of Kevin. Eventually, gonna run out of movies to watch. We'll have to start talking. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Jade Fever. Just over to the edge so he can set it on. Chinese say there's a curse on Jade, and people that are looking for it have a lot of bad luck. Was I supposed to be holding that? Out at Wolverine, anything can shut you down. Track jumped on. It's a pain in the ass, man, one thing after another. I'm a shamanic crystal healer. Open my third eye chakra. She believes in the powers of the stones. You have to do what the wife says. Father, son, send your light. Share your wisdom with Robin.